Hey everyone, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. Welcome to my new-ish layout of my studio. Um, you can see everything is now straight. I used to have this all angled out, but it's all straight now. I was, I said in a vlog I was going to do renovation like shelves floor to ceiling in here. However, Jerusha is getting a little carried away because she's going to give birth in six weeks. So this just had to happen for now. My husband built the Alexa drawer set, so all my SLGs are in there. So if you like it, please let me know. Giving you a bit of show. This situation here, I have got a lot of requests to do an unboxing and reveal of what I picked up with my mom in my last vlog. I'm absolutely getting around to it. <sighs> Later this week, I'm definitely getting around to it. I have my whole um, social media agenda of videos that I wanted to get through anyway. But before I get into it, I would like to thank today's video sponsor and that is Small Girl Bag Organizer yet again. They sent me a brand new Small Girl Bag Organizer set. Z. Set Z. Uh, to go in my uh, Birkin 30 centimeter in Etoupe. And Millie from the company, Samorga, sent me these out. And I'm super happy to tell you she extended my discount code. So I'm so stoked. I have a discount code for you guys for 20% 20, 20 off your whole order, I'm pretty sure. Uh, from Samorga, which I'm super stoked about. You know I like to try and get you discount codes when I can. This is for my Birkin. So she matched these up perfectly. I will list below the exact colors. This larger one, she told me, oh, it's for our, this larger one is for my, is it for my GM Neverfull? I'm not quite sure. She told me what it was for. I can't really remember. So I'm just going to take my stuffing out. I always, it's my stuffing stays in there permanently. But the good thing about a bag organizer is that you can, if you have one, look at that, perfect. For almost, you know, each of your bags that you want to have an organizer in, you just leave it in there. I leave mine in there. So in most of my Neverfulls, the smorgas are already in there and then I just put the stuffing like on top if it needs it. This wouldn't need it now because it's obviously, you know, it fits it out perfectly. And so yeah, so it's the one uh, drink bottle, I guess you call it, one drink bottle holder, which I love this one. You can get it with two, but I like this one because you just, you know, want to have one area for your sunnies. And there's actually a little slip pocket, can we see that? On this side, that's nice. So yeah, and I think this is the one mil thickness. And of course, as I said, I'll work out, I'll find out what color exactly it is to link it below. But thank you so much, Millie, and to Samorga Bag Organizer for sponsoring this video. Okay, today's video, as you can see by the title, is my sunglasses collection. If you are the subby that requested this, I've had a couple of subbies request it. But if it was you as well, please leave your name below. Sorry, I haven't remembered that. I will start by just showing you how I keep my sunglasses now. I used to keep, oh, I just want to mention something. A subby or a viewer said they get so distracted that I look in the monitor so much like I look down at the monitor so much instead of talking to you guys I the reason I do it is because I need to know that I'm still in focus with these with these DSLR cameras it can go out of focus totally and I need to just see if I'm in focus I will try not to I hear your request no problem it can be distracting side note so originally I had it in a Louis Vuitton box I think it was kind of like a medium size uh, it was just getting really annihilated every time I had to keep opening and closing it. And this um, matches fashion, which is like the marble, is actually, to be honest, it's a bit, it's a little bit more sturdy, I'm not gonna lie. So I keep the sunglasses in this. See, checking there in focus. So I keep the sunglasses cases in this, but I'm guessing now 
I'm gonna run out of space because with this sunglasses collection we're also doing a double Celine unboxing. Uh, I have story to tell, that's fine, and um, I will explain. But this is how I had it in the Louis Vuitton box as well, that way I can just grab it. I know there's sunglass cases and all that and then, you know, when you design a wardrobe or a walk-in closet you can do sunglass cases. Super bougie. My matches boxes, my matches fashion box works perfectly fine right now. But let's go ahead and do the unboxing of these Celine Sunnies. So the first pair I did find on davidjones.com. This is their box they came in and they had their little Celine shopping bag like flat underneath, which is really nice that they include that. I think online David Jones .com.au is really good, like they include all the packaging. So this is how these came, and the great thing about these is, I will share the price with you. I could not click fast enough when I saw these come up on the site, or I had had a, a reminder on the site, I think. So here's the Celine case, the beautiful felt Celine case, and I have worn these in a post. Taggy saw but these, let me clean them. Very similar to my large shadows. Bam, get ready for bam. I'm probably gonna do it every single time. But very similar to my large shadows by Celine Black to Tortoise Shell, except they're a little bit like, like they're smaller. They're not as large. So I sit them, but they've still got that kind of flat top and you know, rounded bottom, uh, but all black and a gradient of black to gray I have loved these for the longest time, the longest time. I used to think I looked very Lady Gaga in them because she was very like, you know, poker face. If you don't know about Celine sunglasses, they're expensive girl, they're really expensive. These were $520 full price, okay? $520, that's halfway to a handbag. I got them for $210. Here is a sale tag, 210, what a score. I'm so happy, I can't believe it. I will try and find the link below to David Jones and if they still are on sale. Next Celine unboxing is in this little box and it actually came in its packaging just like so. This is the story. I returned, sorry, I exchanged my Celine large Audrey's in the black that I had purchased from Sunglasses Connection in Australia, so in love with their website, gonna link them below. I just, I cannot believe their service. I, sh I selected to exchange, emailed them, I sent them back, and they literally, like on the same day, ex changed over the exchange, I said these, put it in the mail, and it came the next day. Within one day, I had my exchange item. So very impressed with that website. Again, I'm gonna link it below. And I exchanged the large Audrey's for these because I mentioned, bam, I mentioned a few times that I felt like the ZZ tops were just way too hipster chic for me and too like way in style and like I should be cruising around New Town with like dreadies and just like yeah and on a skateboard because I'm, I'm going to be a mum of two <laughs> and a wife and that's not the zhuzh but I thought to myself you know what there are outfits that these you can rock these with and you're going to get away with it because hey look at the end of the day I'm a hipster mum I'm a cool mum I can ride a skateboard on a good day. Hey, other two new Celines. While we're on Celine, I am an avid Celine sunglass lover. I just am. These were my first ever pair of Celine sunglasses. Bam! Oh, look, this is just this is just me. Okay, this is me in a pair of sunglasses. I bought these Celine large shadow sunglasses, black to tortoise shell gradient in Hong Kong from Celine in the Gateway uh, Shopping Center down in Chim Sa Choi on my 30th birthday. <sighs> Unbelievable, the first kind of like really high, like 
purchase that I had made for Sunny's like up in that range of like five, six hundred where you're sort of paying Louis Vuitton prices and just never regretted it. These are my most used cost per wear, insane. I would definitely link these below. A lot of people ask me about my large shadows and I totally recommend them. Okay, last pair of Celine's that I own in my collection are these guys. The other thing with Celine I recommend is you always, uh, I don't even, I literally don't even know why they would even give you an option of non-polarized anymore. The way the sun is, especially here in Australia, uh, but it's it's usually a little bit more to pay for polarized. All of my Celine's are polarized because I can't stand glare, bam. These are my super, I am so cool, Celine sunglasses. These are my Tildes. I said them wrong when I hauled them, but these are my all black Tildes. And like, if there is anything I just don't know what to grab, I just, it's, it's automatic. It's an automatic win for these sunnies. So these are major. I totally recommend these. If you have a higher cheekbone, they most probably will hit. But I always wear my sunnies on the end of my nose because that is just how we roll. It is far more flattering to show your eyebrows and the arch, like here, the arch of your brow or bone rather than to have sunglasses up here. You just look like a dork, okay? So we have to have a bit of zhuzh and a bit of attitude so that they go on the end of the nose. Jillian just got sunglasses, prescription sunglasses, and I was trying to make her do that in the shops. That's my mum, Jillian. And it was the funniest thing you've ever seen. She was like, the zhuzh, the zhuzh. I was like, yeah, you got it, girl. I'm gonna move on to my more miscellaneous sunglasses pairs, meaning they're just three of different brands. This pair of Sports Girl. Sports Girl is a chain, a kind of fast fashion chain store here in Australia. I have got asked about these quite a lot, thinking that they are Saint Laurent, which I can totally understand because bam, they look like Saint Laurent. They look like the Saint Laurent, I don't know, what are they called, the waves or something? The flat pair, they look exactly like the Saint Laurent. No, they're not. They were $19.95 from Sports Girl. Zero protection. I, I may as well have thrown them in the bin when I started really collecting designer designer. But something inside me was just like, no, you know, it's nice to keep to keep the the young you, you know? The $19.95. $19.95 you. Right? Rather than like the $700 you. In other words, there's a message in that, people. Don't lose yourself, you know? Stay true to your $90 sunglasses. Sticking in $19 sunglasses, I think these were cheaper than 19 but this is the pouch. Sabo skirt, awesome, to young Aussie girls who started kind of like a, kind of a fast fashion, really trendy, they're from Queensland. When I first saw these, where was I? Um, watching a Nicole Guerrero, amazing, mega beauty guru, and she had these, bam. She had this pair on, or maybe she had the black pair, which is this pair, and I was like, oh my God, I need those. They're obviously the same sort of similar shape to the Karen Walker, and Karen Walker used to like fit my face, however they were a little bit smaller. I would say this is like a 45, you know how you can have like the stand is like 30, a 30, 30, a 30 mil lens, and then there's like 45 and 51, and then really oversized. Well, these, when I just thought, I'm gonna get them because Nicole Guerrero has them, and they fit really nicely. They're a wee bit bigger than the Karen Walker. So that's them in the tortoise shell. They most probably are not available anymore, guys. This was at the beginning of my YouTube career. YouTube career. This was the beginning of me making videos, pretty much. And this is the all black pair. Uh, 
but they were yeah they were around $16 each from Sabo skirt so cute Next categories this is my one and only pair of Chloe sunglasses when I got these this is the little uh, suede um, like pouch I guess and they actually did they come with a dust bag I don't know to be honest I didn't I don't even think this was the right pouch because they're such big sunglasses I guess I could go back to David Jones I picked these up for one of my birthdays when I was doing a vlog with mum BAM and this was such a major change for me it was going to more you know light and airy and you know I cut my hair and it was totally inspired by Lydia Lyd has these as well and she, with her beautiful blonde hair it's just like so amazing and when I saw them I was like I have to have them they're so retro they're so Jackie O with the peach with the gradient and um, like the huge you know gold framework in them but these are the Chloe Caroline Carolina sunglasses and it was just it's such a great feeling when I got these like it was so like outside of the box for me okie doke moving on to key I do want to say if you don't see sunglasses that you've seen before it's because I have sold them but this is the Shea the Shea Mitchell Vivians and these were BAM one of the first well did you like the hand movements there BAM these were one of the first um, key Australia sunglasses I ever got like long before they blew up to be massive and have you know head office in America and just stock everywhere it's insane but Desi's line was a maze most of these are the high keys so this is my high key fades from the Desi Perkins collection I love these obviously because they're black I I the idea of getting reflector which is what she started with the gold reflector is a cool idea however I would never reach them I just know these are the black and olive pair and I waited so long for these to come back in stock and luckily being Australian <laughs> we have the Key Australia website so I don't know it doesn't it's like you can just click, click and collect straight away these were her don't at me so those two were high keys Vivian's from Shay Mitchell and these the, are the don't at me which are very like you know you have to be pretty cool like the very Tammy Hembrow like I'm an awesome fitness model which you know totally my zhuzh a fitness model <laughs> at eight months pregnant Ding! this necklace is so twisted <laughs> It is just not what's happening right now. Okay, finishing off with Gooch. The last three are from the Mr. Alexandro collection uh, of Gucci, which is current. We have the beautiful burgundy case. We have my Monique case. <laughs> Shout out to you, babe. My subby Monique is my Emerald Queen this is her case which I like to say and then my newest pair which is in the beautiful royal purple case let's start with the was this yeah let's start with, with these it was the first so this is the beautiful burgundy case and all these cases are just so pretty it makes it kind of worth it you know it makes it worth it to pay you know for the case and everything is so pretty as opposed you know well this is key Australia these are $64 but it just it's just beautiful the packaging and they've up the quality so little uh, drawstring baggy which is what I, the part I actually put in my bag to save space their dust cloths for Gucci I'm just going to show you on one is really quite substantial now they're really good actually they're as good as Vuitton and these are my large square BAM in tortoiseshell Gucci sunnies these were the first ones I got from his collection when he first released and came out and I was so excited for these I got these in the Sydney Gucci in Bondi Junction Westfield and they have just been like 
so fun, so oversized. Again, so Jackie O, so different. And I've really, really enjoyed this pair of sunnies. Gucci's detail, attention to detail is beautiful. Look at the bees. There's a little GG interlocking there on the side. So that was the first pair. Miss Emerald Queen with the second pair and it's interesting because I picked these up in California on Rodeo Drive, Beverly Hills, where I met Monique for the first time and then the second time in Carlsbad because she drove down there. There's a dust cloth and these gorgeous ones. I'm gonna show you. Here's its little baggy in the emerald green baggy. But these gorgeous ones, I'll show you the back first of my star and interlocking GG black gradient to gray, bam, cat eye black sunnies. Hold please. Shout out to my subby Erica. Hi babe, she's my girl. She too loves Gucci sunnies and was like, isn't the new pair you just bought exactly the same as the GG Stars? I was, I was thinking after I saw the comment, I was like, is it? And I was like, I'm not quite sure. So I got them out. This is my newest pair in the Royal Purple. I picked these up from David Jones. If you saw that haul when I was waiting for my car. Beautiful, beautiful Royal Purple. I mean, the packaging is just so gorgeous. These are my large oversized cat eye black sunnies with just the GG logo on the back. Plain, not with the stars. Oh my God, Erica. So she's like, aren't they exactly the same? Pretty much they are exactly the same pretty much. The difference is, I, I really did examine it. So close, Erica. The difference is this is much more like the large Audrey from Celine. That's why I sent, that's why I exchanged them for the ZZ tops because this is much more like an Audrey Hepburn pair and this is a little bit more square and edgy if you can just see that. See these ones cat eye and these ones go square. But come on, come on Jerusha, really? <laughs> like so, so close. I know, crazy. And I wouldn't have known if you didn't point it out, babe. But thanks for that. So bam, and everyone when I was like, should I keep these or should I keep the large Audrey's? What should I do? Everyone was like, these are the Zhuzh, these are fierce. And you know what? Gucci are doing sunglasses. They always do sunglasses good, but they are doing sunglasses so good. I'm gonna tell you something about Celine's. They're amazing, but you have to get them fitted. Most probably, I'm gonna say it's very rare that you'll just put them on and like, bam, they fit and they're comfy and they're snug on the arms. You most probably will have to get them fitted. So the two new ones, I might have to get them fitted. I can tell that the Andreas are a little bit sloped. That's okay, it's factory settings, like it's standard. Uh, but that's what I will tell you is Gucci just, I don't know, you put them on and bam, they fit perfectly and they're polarized. Okay guys, that brings me to the end. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and wish to do so, there is a button below with the bell next to it. If you hit it, you will get notifications of all my new videos. Please tell a friend to sub to my channel as well. That would be great. Again, thank you as always for your support. I will see you in my next video. Take care guys. Peace.